Welcome, Billy Ray's here. <laughs> Welcome, proprietors, to Blank's Lifestyle and Vision Boards. We're here with JT Famularo of Visionary Soccer Development. JT, what's good? How are you, Steve? <laughs> Again, I'm doing well, thank you. So we're going to allow him to create his own vision board, and we'll see what he comes up with. JT owns his own soccer development company, so it's only right that we start off with soccer equipment or a soccer field. So one, do you want an outdoor soccer court or soccer field like that? Do you want an indoor soccer field so that you can play rain, sun, whatever you want? Or would you just prefer to have your own home gym in your dream house? So kind of go through them, let us know what you're thinking and which one you want to add to your vision board. And here's the pin. Go with the indoor. Why? In case it gets cold out, man. I hate playing soccer in the yeah. cold and the rain. I prefer the sun. Don't we I, need all? Play, I need to play in the sun 24-7. If not, it needs to be indoor. Right. So I'll have to go with the indoor one. So you mentioned the indoor court. Where is the court going to be, though? Is it going to be in a mansion at home on Long Island? Is it going to be in a Texan ranch somewhere in fucking Texas? And I know this ink is fucked up, man. My printer sucks. I need to get this shit fixed by next month. Or... Is it going to be in a New York City penthouse? Are you going to have that indoor soccer court? So again, go through, man. Let us know what you're thinking and which one. Uh... Matches on Long Island? Mansion on Long Island. Yeah, I'll stick with Long Island. You going to stay home? Yeah, I'm staying home, man. I can't. I need my space. You're not a city guy? I need my space. I need my. I need to be able to park in front of my own house. <laughs> but you can do that in Texas. You sure you don't want to switch? Nah, it's it's New it's it's New York or, or Miami. It's right. gotta be one or the other. Not not Texas. <laughs> Texas ain't it for me. <laughs> we don't have much Texan followers, so yeah. we're good with that. Texas, Nobody's gonna Texas get a Texas ain't it for me. <laughs> so we know that JT is gonna be playing soccer indoors in his mansion on Long Island. But what kind of cleats is he gonna be wearing? Is he going with some just all white and pink Adidas cleats? Is he going with just some simple black ones? From Nike or does he have a loud sense of fashion is he going with the colorful Nike one so JT what's your fashion style what kind of cleats do you like to rock when you're out there on the field you know Steve I'm a, I'm a big cleat guy I, I got know. a lot of cleats a lot of my friends and the fans they know <laughs> I'm big on cleats um I'm not not take any of these why not my style I need leather cleats. That's I what I need. I need I leather cleats. <laughs> so, I'm about to pass on these. They have to be leather classic cleats made from, let's say, 2006 to 2010. Because ev after that, everything they made was garbage. Black, white, or red. Black, white, or red from 2006, you said? Yeah, we'll take, we'll take the Predators, Nike right. or Nike Ronaldinho's. Put that up now. Adidas Predators, some Addy Pures, some F50s, or some Black Copas. All right, you just made me have so much video I didn't to do, so thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll pass on these. All right, so he denied all my cleats. I'm hoping he d doesn't deny all of my cars. We have, what color is this? We have a pink Audi R8. We have a red Ferrari. Or we have a black... Ben's SUV, so what kind of car guy are you? Are you a car guy? Like, what's going through your head right now? Cars depreciate in value. Yeah. They do. Please don't deny me on these. Don't so, embarrass so, me. It's a me. waste of money, but I need this black Ben's. Okay. Because one, I can't fit no soccer balls in these. <laughs> soccer equipment, right now I'm packing my Honda out. So I need something like a lot of trunk space, back seat. I could fit some portable goals, some pin a lot of pennies, soccer bag, balls. So I'm about to go with the black SUV Thinking Mercedes. Smart. Yeah, you know. I mean, this will be good for a drive around, though. For sure. Maybe and the weekend. And you didn't take a cleat, so if you really wanted to put two cars up there, this will be a blank's lifestyle first. But <sighs> no, no. Too, too much expenses at this point. <laughs> too much Minimal expenses. Got to go with the SUV. Mercedes too. It's not bad. 
So this is the vision board that JT came up with. He's going to be living on Long Island in a mansion with an indoor soccer court and with a very smart choice in the black Mercedes SUV. So, JT. Um, Did you call it a soccer court? Did I do that again? Yeah. So. No. Go over. No. That other way. You're going the wrong way. You're going like this. Yeah, you're going. Way. You're going. <laughs> no, you're going. <laughs> you're going like this. I was going like oh, this. You, you don't want to see. see you don't want to see your face at all. Uh, you no. call it a fucking soccer court, right? So this is JT's vision board. He's going to be living on Long Island in a mansion with an indoor soccer field, with a very practical choice of the Mercedes SUV. So JT, um, you know, it seems like a really good lifestyle. Even though you're going to be running around kicking a soccer ball barefoot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming through, dude. And here's uh, your vision board. Thank you, Stephen. I, enjoy, uh, I really enjoyed this. Cool. Felt barefoot. You know, that's what they play in Brazil. Yeah, that's And true. in other countries, and it's fun down there, barefoot. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.